ready? Yes. So why not we first begin with introducing yourself. Who are you? I'm Chloe. I'm a British Israeli artist currently based in Singapore. Um, I'm primarily an oil painter, but I also work in film and fine art printmaking as well. So, what are some of the themes that you explore? I would say that my work is incredibly introspective and very research driven. Um, I look a lot at kind of my identity within space. Um, and how I forge identities in new spaces. So I used to travel a huge amount before COVID. And every time I traveled, I would reflect on kind of how I was setting down roots in a new landscape and how I was orientating myself in that landscape as well. Um, I would say that I also look a huge amount at kind of the imprecision of memory and collective memory. So these stories or folklore tales that get passed down through generations and that you know, really shapes how we identify ourselves and how we relate to others. So the blue is a recent kind of addition and it's very much based on Morocco. Um, I have, my mum's family is from Morocco and I have memories of the Majoral Gardens in Marrakesh which are painted in this really vibrant blue hue, you know, surrounded by these tropical plants. And I've always associated, you know, blue with Morocco. There's a beautiful city called Shifshuin, which actually has, you know, a fair amount of Jewish history in it as well. And that is all painted this really magnificent, different hues of blue. And it was a colour I've always wanted to explore and, you know, finally took the, <laughs> took the plunge. I would hope that when, you know, people engage with my work, they do get the sensation of, an exotic escape where they're able to insert their own imaginative values into the work, but also a sensation where they're transported elsewhere, be that Morocco, which you know for right now could be the intention, or to a kind of another tropical environment. You know, the works are very tropical, and I think they leave space for the imagination to kind of come through and interact with the work. Um, actually, one of the paintings is called The Gold That Grows on Trees, and it's referring to argan oil which is a specific type of oil that you can use for cooking, you can use for your skin, you can also use it for your hair. And it's a really sought after oil right now in the <laughs> hair industry. But it's considered, you know, it's been spoken of as the gold that grows on trees. And the irony is these goats love those trees. So you'll often find them on the same location. Yeah. 